Tēnā koutou katoa. My name is Denise Johnson and I am the principal of Hutbilly High School. Welcome to our kura. We would have loved to have greeted you with a pōwhiri in our hall, but the red light settings and our building challenges have made this impossible. Today, the first day of school for Year 9, we have prefabs being moved across the field, so even an outdoor setting for a pōwhiri uh, couldn't happen today. So we will be greeting your Year 9 students um, on our on our lawn on Woburn Road and we will be escorting them to their classrooms. I know today can be pretty scary for Year 9, it can be quite intimidating, it feels like a really big place, but once they are in their mentor class with their mentor teacher and know they are with people that they um, know, they will be quite happy. For about the first two weeks your students, your, your children will get lost around school, we all do, but after two weeks they will absolutely know this place inside out. Day one of high school can also be pretty sad uh, for parents and Fano. It's that first step into adulthood um, and independence and I would just ask that you remember your days at high school and what you did and didn't tell your parents and know that it may be a little bit different being at high school than uh, with your students at primary school. What I do want you to know though is that we have systems and setups here where we will care for your children, we will get to know them um, and we will guide them on their journey for the next five years. Part of this video is to introduce the senior leadership team so that you know a little bit about the people running the school uh, and know that we are experienced and that we have um, the best interests of your children at heart. So I've been here now for over 10 years. I, I started as the associate principal and I am now uh, the principal. I'm an old girl of Hatley High School, which is a bit um, concerning because it was a very long time ago. I grew up in Wanimata and I spent most of my life playing sport. So I've been a rep player for Hutt Valley for softball and netball and basketball. Nowadays I play uh, golf, sometimes really good and sometimes not so good. I mountain bike, at the moment uh, I'm not, I'm nursing very sore ribs, so I'm on the flat Te Awakairangi uh, trails, um, but I try and keep myself pretty fit. I'm the mother of two adult sons uh, who are cricketing tragics, I suppose. Their life is cricket, so our life is following cricket, which is actually really exciting. And I um, am about making this school the best place it can be, making this school uh, fun, safe, and, and um, a school that celebrates all that is good about your students. I know it's a big place, um, but what we do know is that there is a space and a place for every student that comes here, and we work really hard to make that happen. So do know that we will care and look after your students very, very well. We can't wait to meet your Year 9 students, and we hope that later in the year that we can meet you in a face-to-face -face setting. Our staff are ready, uh, they have all their planning done, they're excited that uh, our, our year is beginning, albeit a little bit different. Um, welcome to our community. Tēnā koutou katoa. Kia ora, I'm Nick Larkin, one of the DPs at Hutt Valley High School. In 2022, I will be looking after the Year 10 Year Group and teaching in the Social Sciences Learning Area. A couple of my key roles this year are looking after Curriculum, Restorative Practice and NCA. I've got three children that are all educated in the Hutt Valley and they will all eventually come through Hutt Valley High School as well. I've lived in the region for 20 years, 10 of those um, in the Hutt Valley. The greatest thing I like about the school is that there are great opportunities. Everyone will find their people and the positive relationships between staff and students. Hi, my name's Corinne Kennedy and I'm one of the Deputy Principals. I've got quite a long connection with the school. My dad went here and my three children went here. Um, my husband's a, a teacher at a local school. I've uh, been head of PE here, but I'm now teaching social studies this year. I'll be looking after the year 12 group. Three things I love about Hutt Valley High is that it's inclusive um, and that uh, people are welcoming and friendly and that there's a place for everyone in the school. Tēnā koutou, ko Grace Wright taku ingoa. I am a local Hutt person and have two young lads who attend schools around the hut. I've played in local orchestras and brass bands and generally love my hut life. I came to the hut 15 years ago now. I've been working at Hut Valley High School, started as the HOD of music and then moved on to look after all of the arts. So it should come as no surprise that I am really passionate about the arts and all extracurricular events. I really hope you can get involved when you come to Hutt Valley High School. My role now as Deputy Principal is to look after our Year 11 students 
and the welfare and well-being of all our students here at the school. I'm particularly lucky to be able to oversee the achievement of our Māori ākonga and the cultural responsive practice of our school. Kia ora, I'm Fiona Pearson, I'm one of the Deputy Principals here. I've worked at Hutt Valley High for 20 years um, and prior to this role I was Head of the English Learning Area. I am uh, a Wellington local, I live in Kurori and I have two primary school age children. I uh, am working this year with our Year 9 Deans to support our Year 9 students um, and I'm really looking forward to it. I'll also be teaching a Year 9 English class. Kia ora and welcome to your first day here at Hutt Valley High School. My name's Max. I'm Diana. I'm Zara. I'm Thomas. And we have the absolute pleasure of being head students for your first year at Hutt Valley High School. And I know this is an unusual start to the year, but we are so excited to get to know you and to organise fun events throughout the year. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to ask any of the Year 13 students around the school because I know how daunting your first day of Year 9 can be. On behalf of the student leadership team, welcome, welcome to Hutt Valley High School! school. I thought I'd tell you a little bit about day one so that you are prepared for what's going to happen to uh, your, your students um, when they arrive here. They will immediately go to their mentor class and meet their mentor teacher. This person is a really important person and you will know this person for the next four to five years. Their job is to care for your, your child. They will also, also meet their deans who are Nicole Arnell and Jeremy Keane. And again, those two important people will care for this year nine cohort for the next five years. Uh, that day and the next half day will all be about orientation and getting to know the school. We're a building zone at the moment. Um, there's a lot of exciting things happen. There are buildings coming down, buildings going up and buildings being remediated. So uh, learning to find your way around the school can, will be a little bit challenging but in these first couple of days they'll be given tours of all the important places. I guess I'd like to tell you a little bit about our school values. Um, they're important and they guide everything we do. So they're very simple. They are we are kind, we are welcoming, we persevere and we achieve. They are touchstones, they're aspirational, and we ask that everyone work towards being kind and being welcoming. We've been challenged uh, to persevere over the last two years and I don't see anything different going into the future, but we do do a lot of work about how do we build our resilience. What we ask when you arrive at Hutley High School is that you celebrate who you are, but you also celebrate who other people are. We ask that you look after the person beside you, whether you know them or not. You're going to be in a class full of lots of different people. They will sound different, look different, come from different backgrounds to you. It's what we love about this place. But we ask that you come with an open mind to learn about and with other people. Parents, whānau, caregivers, we want to work with you. Uh, this isn't a journey that we can take by ourselves, so we ask that you keep in touch with us all the time. He never hesitate to get in touch. Email is probably best, but we want to work with you. We don't want any surprises. The more we know about what's happening in each other's lives, the better we can help your child. So I guess what we're saying is we want to work in partnership with you, uh, we want no surprises and we want to work together for the next five years as your child journeys through high school and out into the big wide world. One of the things we love about Hutt Valley High School is the diversity. We have lots of cultures, we have lots of languages, we love listening to the different stories. Our mantra is that we respect everyone no matter where they're from and we absolutely celebrate all the different stories that they bring. We value the tolerance and we value the patience people have as we learn about each other. One of the strengths of Hutt Valley High School are the great relationships we have between students, staff and the community. A couple of our key values are kindness and being welcoming. However, not all students are kind and welcoming all the time. When this happens, what we use are restorative practices with our staff and students. This means that we are aiming to maintain and build strong relationships, but if we need to, we can restore them as well. By design, teenagers make mistakes and muck up. So what we ask is that you address these mistakes with kindness and a positive attitude, and that we do maintain those relationships. We restore them if need be, and we move on. At Hart Valley High School, we do all we can to meet the individual needs of each student. We endeavour to be flexible and adaptable with our processes and structures in order to help your child have the best learning experience. What this means is that their teachers will get to know them, get to know what makes them happy, what challenges them and what works best for them in the classroom. On Year 9 Welcome Day, they'll spend 
the whole day with that class, getting to know other students and their mentor teachers really well. At our enrolment interviews at the end of last year, I was so impressed with the number of students who said they wanted to meet new people, they wanted to make new friends and try new things. This is the beginning of that journey and I really hope that all of our Year 9 students will take on that challenge and try their best. With the size of our school, the really amazing thing is all the groups and activities you can join here. There are so many sports and clubs on offer. If you can think of it, we probably have it. And if we don't, come talk to us and we can see about setting something up. It can be anything from uh, loud rock bands to really quiet clubs from highly competitive groups to really social groups, from dance troupes to large orchestras, you name it, it's here, it's on offer. So we really look forward to you getting involved and participating. Now one group I really wanted to point out was our kapahaka. They are exciting and vibrant and we'll be really looking forward to seeing some new faces at practices this, at lunch times this year. See you there. Students will be in one of six houses and throughout the year you'll participate in lots of fun events arranged and devised by our student house leaders. Those houses are named after our local maunga. So we have Tararua, Arongarongo, Rimutaka, Matairangi, Pukiariki and Pukiatua. Get involved, wear the house colours, you'll have loads of fun. One of our first events was our meet and greet. It will look a little bit different this year, but it's still going to happen. So sort it out, join in and get your mental class right involved. The final senior leadership team member that you haven't met is Tim Fox. He's a local hut person and his children have all gone through this school. One of Tim's um, aspects of his portfolio is to look after our Year 13 leaders and our Year 13 liaison students. And these particular students are really important to our Year 9s. On day one they'll meet, your head, meet our head students and also every mentor class will have at least two liaison students. So these are those go-to students that the Year 9s can um, ask those questions that they may be a little bit hesitant to ask an adult. They will be with Year 9 for the whole year and will become um, a person that they know in the grounds right through their time at school. So again a big welcome to uh, your whanau and your families to Hutbilly High School. Uh, your students will be introduced to the way school works around here. We're pretty um, open and we're pretty transparent. We have very simple rules and the rules are respect each other, respect yourself, respect our property and the rule we're all going to get along really well. We look forward to our journey with you over the next five years. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa.